Hey guys, Sigils here, bringing you another Minecraft Redstone tutorial for the uh, introduction to Redstone for the noobs, uh, or, mine or Redstone for the untechnical. Um, today we're going to be looking at our first little bit of circuitry. Very, very simple stuff. Um, it's called the RS Norlatch. And now I know what you're thinking, hey, hey, didn't you say this was going to be not technical? Yes, I did, but you do need to know the proper name for these things so that you can research new techniques and when somebody is showing you how to build a more complicated setup and they say they're using an RS Norlatch, you know what the heck that is. Um, basically, an RS Norlatch has a very, very simple purpose. It holds a signal. So if you click on a button or send a pulse or something, uh, it will copy the state or it will receive the state so when I press a button that says on it'll take that and hold that until I tell it not to let me show you what I mean so this is just a regular button no circuitry on off this is an RS Norlatch on 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 still on it'll stay on forever alright how does this work so right here you've got a button feeds a torch. This torch is on, and it's in range of this torch, so it's turning that one off. The uh, on signal is then carried through this repeater, up into this block, and looping around. Um, this is the output right here. So, when I press this, these torches switch places, this goes on, and that's what's powering that block up there now. Um, additionally, this output is powering over here. This is the normal output, but since this is a one wide and I can stack it, I can also uh, use it in that way, but normally you'd be going here. And then this is the reset, so this will stay on until this torch is turned off, and this one is given the opportunity to turn back on, in which case this one will not be able to turn back on. So let me demonstrate that. Boom. Okay. Um, on. Off. Okay, see, it's very simple, and then there's numerous, numerous ways to build this. I'm just going to show you a couple of the really common ones. Um, these are not circuits that I invented that you're just very commonly used and you should be familiar with when you're putting together little contraptions. Um, so here you got an even more compact one and it's just switching. That's your output right there. See the light on. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Off. On. Off. And it's the same idea. You've got the torches connected by redstone wire here uh, and when the button turns one off it gives the other one an opportunity to turn on and uh, lock the other one into the off state, switching the pulse. Here we go. Another one, the same concept. You see this button then goes into this one. This button goes into this one. So when they switch, they switch. Here's an output. Boom. Um, okay, so you've got the basic idea now. You know what the heck an RS Norlatch does. Let me show you a couple basic applications, tricks and things you can do, you can use to start implementing them right now. Um, but first, let me do that. Okay. All right, so watch this. On, on, off. What? Now you, think, you may think, hey, that, that latch is broken. Not quite. Listen to the button. Listen when normally we'd be turning off. Hear that? It's not turning off when the button does. It's turning off in an independent timer. So what I've done here is this is the normal, just, you know, little RS Nor latch I just showed you right over there, that one. And uh, what it does is its output is going into a clock. Very simple one, but a clock nonetheless. Uh, and basically, these are just a bunch of repeaters set to four to slow down the pulse. And it comes back right in and resets itself. So this torch gets turned off. This pulse loops around and turns off that torch. And this one's allowed to turn back on. You can use this in a lot of applications. Um, mob grinders use it on... Uh, what are they called? Uh, crushers. So if you want to crush all of the mobs down to a low health so you can kill them all with a splash post or something like that, you would use a setup just like this. Um, you can also use them for doors. If you want a door to automatically close when you press a button, but you want it to stay open longer than the normal button time for whatever reason, um, we can also do this for minecart track changing, all sorts of things. Um, over here, I've got a double door. Um, and you'll notice, yeah, so let's say this is one of my underground mines. I'll make this, you know, and I want to make it so that it's easy to get in, but hard for mobs to get in. Um, I can press this. Now it's an RS Nor latch. It'll stay open indefinitely. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, I'm, I'm tired of waiting. Let's go in. 
step on those pressure plates, boom, gets reset. Now, real quick note, because I'm playing on a super flat world, the world's not actually quite deep enough for this circuitry, because you see I have to be uh, underneath the door here with these torches to get the doubles to open. Um, and if I had these, this redstone buried, it would be interfering. So in a normal world, you could have this redstone completely hidden, just not right here, and I didn't feel like raising the world just to demonstrate it. Um, you get how it works. This then closes behind you. So it only stays open this way. That means mobs can't follow you in, uh, keeps it completely safe, and whatnot. I'll show you how that works. It's just a simple RS Norlatch. Do, 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 do. Here's the, where the pulse gets held. These two torches right here are the toggles. Um, the output goes underneath here, and the pressure plates send a signal up here to reset this torch. Same concept, very simple execution, very nice compact door. Um, you know, easily fittable underground or in a wall, you're only going to need like four by two, and then a little bit underneath the door, another three blocks down or so. Okay, guys, so that is the RS Norlatch. Um, like I said, very simple, very basic. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to explain this further. Um, and this is just going to be a really handy tool that you want in your tool belt. The tool belt, excuse me. Um, that's really the point of this series. I'm trying to give you guys an understanding of a whole lot of basic little elements that you can fit together like Lego pieces when you're building a circuit. Uh, when I want to set up a doorway or something, it's a lot easier for me than it is for somebody who doesn't know anything about redstone because then I can go, well, okay, I want, I want this part of the thing to stay open when I press a button until I reset it or for a certain amount of time, I instantly know, oh, I need an RS Norlatch. I can look up, uh, see if anyone's come up with an even more compact version or I can use one of the ones that I know and then I can feed that into the next next device um, or next you know portion of the circuit so this is like part one of your circuit uh, maybe next we'll uh, want it to go to you know like I said a crusher or maybe it turns on um, some arrow dispensers firing non-stop or maybe it turns on a minecart track uh, for a station you know limitless possibilities really uh, in terms of what you can do with this um, it's just up to you guys so like I said let me know if you uh, have any more questions about the RS Norlatch or if there are other uh, applications you'd like to see me use it for um, I'm gonna continue working on some more stuff for this series and um, if you have any specific questions uh, let me know but uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys learned some stuff